Investigators in Canada say the gunman who carried out the deadly attack in the nation's capital had planned to go to Syria, where Islamic militants are waging war. They've been piecing together clues in their effort to find out what drove the 32-year-old to kill a soldier and then storm into Parliament, resulting in his own death. NHK World's Craig Dale is covering developments for us. Canadian-born Michael Zihaf Bibo is being painted as a troubled man who converted to Islam, became radicalized and wanted to get to Syria. His criminal record, which included robbery and drugs charges, triggered attention when he applied for a passport. We were contacted to conduct background checks. The RCMP did not possess information at that time that would reveal any national security related criminality. Police say his motives for the attack are linked to his radicalization and his difficult circumstances. He'd been a drug abuser, spent time in homeless shelters and possibly wrestled with mental illness. Whatever drove him, Zihaf Bibo charged up to the National War Memorial in Ottawa and shot one of the soldiers guarding it. 24-year-old Corporal Nathan Cirillo died. The young man that died did nothing. He did nothing to deserve what he got, and I am so angry at the man that shot him. Surveillance cameras captured Zihaf Bibo's next moves, which happened in a span of about four minutes. He drove to Parliament in his car, then hijacked another car to get closer to the entrance. He exited that vehicle, then ran with his gun drawn as bystanders scattered. Seconds after Zihaf Bibo went inside Parliament, security forces shot at him. The sergeant-at-arms for Parliament, Kevin Vickers, fired the fatal bullet. Lawmakers praised Vickers, and they also held a moment of silence for the dead soldier. Then the Prime Minister promised enhanced security measures are on the way. Our laws and police powers need to be strengthened in the area of surveillance, detention and arrest. They need to be much strengthened. The country clearly remains on edge. Just as the Prime Minister and his wife laid a wreath at the war memorial, officers drew their weapons to stop a man who had crossed a police line. Still, many are focused on why Zihaf Bibo did what he did. Few are more confused than his mother, who spoke to the Associated Press. Susan Bibo says, No words can express the sadness we are feeling at this time. Can you ever explain something like this? She asks. And she says, we are sorry. Police say Zihaf Bibo acted alone, which experts say makes prevention harder. If you have an individual who decides to commit an act, whether it's murder, terrorism, or whatever, doesn't tell anyone and doesn't communicate with anyone, very difficult to track them. Canadian investigators say Zihaf Bibo was not on a terrorist watch list, but they say his email was in the hard drive of someone who they've charged with a terrorist offence. They say it's a weak connection, but one that has been strengthened by what happened in Ottawa. Craig Dale, NHK World.